Greetings from CI Live Labs. I'm Justin Wilson with Construction Instruction. And today I'm just going to take a moment to talk about some advancements in rain screen technology. And rain screen technology, just to give, or rain screens in general, just to give a little bit of a, a primer on it. Well, it's a material that would facilitate rapid water drainage behind cladding materials, and also in some cases a ventilated rain screen would allow airflow, airflow behind those cladding materials as well. So rapid drainage and airflow. What does it mean? What does it mean in the building industry? It means durability. It means durability, particularly when we start to look at <clears throat> masonry applied claddings, stucco and stone on light wood framed buildings. This is a big deal. Every time uh, we get a call at our office, every time we see it in the news or in the newspaper about very large litigation claims with, with building and the building industry, it somehow stems around the application of masonry materials on the outside of light wood frame buildings. Well, at least we have some amazing uh, things that, that we've discovered. One of, our, one of our favorite products that we look at Delta Dry by Durkin Systems. So this was the, the first evolution of, of a product. And I'm just going to show a few of these. And I've got a, a live sample behind us. But what we have is a dimpled membrane. And this is the back side of it that would go against the weather barrier. And so it goes against the wall system. And on the front side, you can see these channels to drain water that would get behind the masonry cladding. So what would happen in the proper layup is I would lay this product over the top of my weather resistive barrier. Then comes a second layer would be most likely a grade D paper of some sort, and then a lath. And we then put our scratch coat, uh, brown coat, color coat with stucco or scratch and stone on this thing. And it's attached in normal fashion. You use normal metal to install your, your uh, terminations, uh, weep screeds, et cetera, on a wall. So that's a, a pretty straightforward deal. When you look at a, a peel away of that, what I have is then this drainage channel space that's behind it, and also a secondary drainage and airflow space that rests between the weather barrier and the, and the wall to provide rapid bulk water drainage and ventilation. So the product then has this bit of evolution uh, because it requires this, this second layer on it. And we've watched this product grow over the last several years and, and modify itself. So then it comes with, here's the back of it, the front with this fiberglass scrim sheet on the front. Well, what does that layer actually do is it keeps mortar from plugging up these joints back here, as well as facilitates what that black paper layer was serving in the first place. So a little bit more of an all-in-one, a little bit less labor. And then my actual lath material goes uh, properly installed over the top of that, then scratch brown color coat, scratch or stone, etc. So that's pretty, pretty robust and, and time-saving. We've bought time and labor. What's your money worth in there in the field? Now, this is an interesting evolution. So this one by Durkin Systems is called Dry and Lath. And it is, in fact, this is the back of the product, as we see. So we still have the exact same product on the front side. And there you can see the channels. But on this other side, we have this white mesh material and still the channels that are behind it of this Dry and Lath product. This is pretty darn cool. So I get a a rain screen, bulk water drainage, ventilation, front side drainage channels, and this white material is actually a washed treated fiberglass lath. And I can cut it with a knife or scissors. It doesn't corrode or rust. This is pretty darn cool. Um, when we start to look at evolution of a product. So I have a rain screen product that provides ventilation. This equals durability, durability, durability in the building science world. And then I also have a new innovative fiberglass lath material. Now, several months ago, we actually tried to install this product on one of our mock-ups. And this side you can see with a scratch coat for stucco, the right side with a scratch coat for a stone application. And what was really nice is we actually brought a stucco installer in. And the first thing was, what do I do differently? Like, well, you just bring a knife instead of uh, a metal shears, and you bring your same nail gun. You just increase the nail or staple length by a half an inch, and you bring all the same metal parts and install them exactly the same way that you always did before, um, basically just lacing it into this lath layer where appropriate. So that's pretty cool. They came in. 
they cut the product, they nailed the bottom of the wall, installed it, and right away came up and put their scratch coat right on top of this particular product. And it was really nice to get their experience. We had a, a stucco contractor that had been in business for well over 40 years. And they actually went from this at the start of it to like, wow, I could see my crews using this product. And rain screens and drainage, in fact, make a lot of sense. So it's great to hear from that perspective. So here we have a, a cutaway of the whole thing from a high performance um, weather resistive uh, layer on it, detailed as an air barrier. Um, then we actually see that the product has reinforcing points at the fastening intervals and also a grid-like pattern that we can then know that, that the stud line is there. I can sight line to where I can keep my fasteners to make sure I keep getting fasteners into structural framing members behind. Uh, integrating into flashing details at the bottom, but then just direct application of, of the scratch coat, the brown coat, and then of course you would go from that point on to color coat with the dry and lath. And you can see the rapid drainage out of this. I stuffed the funnel in behind the uh, 10 millimeter airspace area. It provides a 10 millimeter airspace. But here you can see a funnel as I dump the water in and how fast the water will actually come out the bottom of the wall. That's what I call rapid drainage. So what a cool innovation by Durkin Systems. Um, if you haven't tried this product, uh, reach out to either us or Durkin Systems. Uh, I think you'd love to try it. Uh, and when we talk about durability, what are the next steps that you're going to build into a building to enhance its durability?